Welcome everybody. We uh, we just um, did a few intimate Louis XIII tastings, what we actually call the Louis XIII moment, uh, to educate a few of our customers on the Louis XIII experience. Now Louis XIII is really the king of cognac, and we call it the king of, of cognac for a few reasons. It's it's probably the oldest and the most prestigious spirit in the world. And it does really have a following. We do have customers for Louis XIII. It's, uh, it's a brand that has a, a, a tremendous power to fascinate customers and to, to create the event, to create uh, excitement. Now, Louis XIII is the king of cognac for a few reasons. First of all, it comes from the single most prestigious region in cognac, which is, as you can see here, the Grande Champagne region. So Louis XIII is only exclusively sourced in Grande Champagne, which is the first cru, the premier cru of cognac. Um, then the second reason why it's the king of cognac is because of the aging process. To be called cognac, the general uh, rule and regulation says that you need to be aged for a minimum of two years. Now Louis XIII is aged for a minimum of 40 years. And the oldest uh, cognac that comes in the blend of Louis XIII is actually 100 years old. So you realize that when you carry a bottle of Louis XIII, when you serve a glass of Louis XIII to your customer, you're serving, you're serving them a century in a bottle, a century in a glass. This is a tremendous opportunity to experience a spirit like no other. Just to give you a few, a few ideas of how much work and effort it takes to create Louis XIII, our cellar master, Pierrette Trichet, is, has the responsibility today to sort and to store away the young cognacs that she just produced um, that are going to become a part of Louis XIII, a blend in Louis XIII, in 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. That's a huge responsibility. She has to make that decision today for a Louis XIII bottle that is going to be only produced and enjoyed by our customers in a few decades. And also, she's able today to create the Louis XIII bottles only because four generations ago, a hundred years ago, the cellar master of Rémy Martin put away the best cognac that he made, the cognacs with the longest aging potential, for her to use in the blend of Louis XIII today. So Louis XIII is really, it's like working on a cathedral. It's such a long process, involves a lot of different people, a lot of effort, and a lot of people actually never see the result of their work. That's why we really like to define Louis XIII as the king of cognac, but also the king of spirits, really, because it's one of the most complex and extraordinary spirits that is ever made in the, in the world. So it's, uh, you see, I have a lot of passion about this, this brand, but I, I, I really like to share it with you. Um, I am looking forward to um, actually visiting your market and coming with you and um, having some fun together with Louis XIII. But in the meantime, keep it in mind, the king of cognac. <laughs>